Hey y'all, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. Today I have a look at the Frida Kahlo collection set that is available exclusively by Illimite from Live Love Polish. I'll leave my link down below. If you shop through it, I will receive a small percentage off the sale and I really, really appreciate you guys' support. I see your repeat shoppers. I am so thankful for you. So these were sent to me for review and this set is all in stock as I'm filming this so you definitely do not want to miss out. The packaging on these is beautiful for gifting or just even for collecting. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into the review. So first up is Prickly Pear. And you guys know I usually try to swatch in Roy G. Biv order. But because this one is so, so brilliantly pink on the nail, I did go ahead and put it first. So this one is a temperature reactive polish that transitions between a dark purple when cold, which you saw there in the bottle, and then a bright magenta when warm. It does have holographic glitter, iridescent glitter, and blue to purple shifting shimmer. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how it swatched today for me on my natural nail. So there is a look at that first coat. I did go in a little bit thicker with that first coat and it definitely brought amazing coverage. However, I do prefer to go in for a quick a second coat with a the thermal. You can see how quickly this changed to that deep magenta shade where it's warm on my nail. Honestly, in the Texas heat, as soon as I stepped outside to get some good daylight shots, it went full on pink. So keep that in mind. Your uh, environment is definitely gonna affect how this looks on the nail, but there is a look at that natural shift. And then really quickly, I'm going to show you how it changes for me in ice cold water. So it definitely goes back to that purple really, really quickly. This one does dry down dull, so I do recommend going in with one coat of the Live Love Polish Top Coat as shown here. So next up is Sun and Life. And you guys, I think that this is my topic of the collection. Not only is it a red, which is my preferred shade, but it also is a thermal. So this one is described as, of course, as a thermal polish that transitions from a clear when warm to a dark burgundy red when cold. It does have holographic gold glitter as well as holographic gold flakies. So here is a look at that first easy coat. This one goes on super smooth and easy. It does transition really quickly to that clear shade. So during application, just be a little bit careful. My hands were running actually a little bit cooler than they usually do. So here is a look at that second coat. You can see it building up really nicely. However, with this one, I did do two swatches today for my video, but I do prefer it with a third because that warm transition is so light. So here's a look at that completed mini at three coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. This one does dry down dull as well, so I do recommend going in with a Live Love Polish top coat. So here's a quick view at how it transitions in ice cold water. It does really quickly go back to that deep burgundy red. I am super in love with this. This is right on the edge of being a tri-thermal, I think. So here's a quick photo from a different angle in direct sunlight. So next up I have Bonito and this is the last thermal of the collection. So this one is described as a temperature reactive polish that transitions from a dark teal when cold to a medium green and then finally a light green when warm. So this is a true tri-thermal polish which means it's going to hit all three of those shades depending on the temperature around your nail. So this one goes on silky smooth, really easy to apply. The light green when it's warm that you can see there on my nails is a fairly light. So today I'm going to do two coats and it does make for really good coverage. However, because this warm shade is a little bit on the lighter side, you may want to go in for that third coat. So here is a look at that completed mini. I just two coats in the natural shift. So you can see I do have a little bit of visible nail line there. I would definitely go in for that third coat and it does also dry down a little bit dull, but one coat of the Live Love Polish Top Coat will take care of that. So here in my cold water, I'm going to try to show you all three colors. So there at the beginning, it was that beautiful teal and then medium green, and it does go all the way to the dark green. So this is my final swatch photo at an angle in direct sunlight. So next up is a last Parabolar, and this one is described as a shimmer polish that is in a light gray blue hue with a bright blue shimmer as well as holographic glitter. So this one is super stunning in the bottle. I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's swatched today for me on my natural nail. So here is a look at that first easy coat. This one goes on silky smooth. It's not too thick or too thin. It is a little bit sheer, but it is definitely going to build up really well on itself. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry down and then show you how it built up for me with a quick second coat. Two coats really does a great job in helping build up that opacity, but it's not completely opaque for me. So I am going to go ahead and complete this coat and then show you how it built up for me with the third and final for today. With how strong the shimmer is in the bottle, I was really expecting some brush stroking with this polish as well. I didn't have any at all. It does a really great job at mellowing down and just making a really silky shimmery finish. So three coats does make for full coverage. Here is a look at that completed mani at three coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. And then really 
really quickly from a different angle with top coat in direct sunlight. This one, super, super beautiful in direct sunlight. Definitely changes how this looks on the nail. So the shimmer in this polish is definitely on the main stage here. You do just get like subtle hints of the holographic sparkle. So this is my final swatch photo at an angle in direct sunlight. And next we're going to transition to my second favorite and honestly a must have from this collection. So this is called Roots and it is a super flaky intense polish. It's described as a glitter packed polish with a clear base and color shifting flakes with shades of red, copper, orange, and gold as well as some holographic glitter. You guys, I have, like, I have flaky polishes in my collection, but this one is amazing. The formula is there. The coverage is there. The colors are there. I'm super, super impressed. I will say that if I try to overwork this polish, it did get a little bit thick, so I do definitely recommend getting it where you want, putting it down, and letting it dry down. It also doesn't dry down with a lot of texture or anything. Two coats makes for complete coverage, which is almost unheard of with a flaky polish. So here's a look at that completed mani at two coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. I do recommend going in for that glossy top coat. It's going to smooth out any of those larger flakes and just amp up that holographic sparkle. So here's a quick view from a different angle. And you guys, this is gorgeous here, but it's not even showing you all the shift that you're going to get from these flakes. This is my final swatch photo at an angle in direct sunlight. So the last polish that I have to share with you today is another stunner. This one is Torzales, and it's described as a metallic polish with a black base, small silver metallic flakes, holographic glitter, and it is incredible. So this looks like a jelly type polish where I was expecting when I applied it that I was going to need a few coats but the coverage here are you kidding me like it's perfect one coat goes on super smooth you already get a ton of holographic and flakes on the nail in indoor lighting I got more of the flakes and outdoor you're really going to pick up on that holographic glitter I did go ahead and go in for a second coat it does deepen up that finish a little bit and makes it a true black it's no problem at all to go ahead and go in for that second coat so here is a look at that completed mani add just two coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting you can see I'm picking up more of the flakes here than the holographic. However, with a coat of glossy top coat and direct sunlight, those come right to the forefront. So here is a look at that completed mini once more in direct sunlight with the bottle. I am like head over heels for this polish. It's amazing. The formula is there. The color is there. And plus the inspiration is like right in my hearts. So that does wrap up my swatch and review of the Frida Kahlo collection. Again, these are all available right now at Live Love Polish. I would really appreciate it if you use my link to shop. I'll try to leave all the description and names down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more, you can also follow me on Instagram at Sloppy Swatches, and I'll see you guys in my next video on Monday.